That was fun. Do doodle do do do. Hey Tempcore! How are you doing today? How's everybody? I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I don't know why. 
I didn't even sleep poorly, I don't think. I don't know. It was just one of those mornings where I was like, I feel almost sick because I didn't, uh, because I, I didn't get enough sleep for some reason, even though I got like eight hours. But whatever, whatever says my body. But we're gonna get hyped because I'm gonna cry. I am under no illusions. I will cry. <laughs> I will cry at some point. Um, I don't know what to expect with this game other than that I will cry. That it's sad and I will cry. <laughs> That's pretty ironic how you're talking all blah when Queen of the Hype is above your head. Yeah, I know. This is what happens when your body hates you. I haven't been up for that long. I only got out of bed an hour ago. So what's this game? I just said I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna cry. It's a game and we're gonna go to the moon and I'm gonna cry about it. Um, hold on though. I have to switch over here. I have to remove the Witcher by Witcher. And then we're gonna launch to the moon and it's in a window. Interesting. Oh, there it goes. I have to change the resolution. I got the time. It's still going. Hold on! Got through a 12 hour shift plus gym. <laughs> is that better or is it still too loud? Okay. Where are the options? Are there no options in this game? I want options. But how's the volume? Can you hear now that I've turned it down? I forgot to have my volume mixer open and ready. Okay, so I'm talking, and here's the music going. Okay, we get a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Is it good? Is it bad? And I know you can't see anything. Because... <laughs> I should have set this up before. Alright. So you're just gonna get screen capture, and I hope that this doesn't lag the fuck out of shit. Blah blah blah, shush. Did that work? It has it only in a little tiny baby window? What the fuck? Okay, let me click begin and see if I get options. Why is it still loud? Hold on. This game, everything's loud? All your stuff's loud all the time. Like, every time you play a game, it's super loud. Okay, well now I've got it down to 10%. Well, let me see if it actually drops it down enough. Because I put it down to 26. Okay, I'm just I'm just hoping for options so that I can change this. Cause that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and now it's loud, you lost the S fuck part. Alright. 
I'm not seeing options! Escape doesn't do anything. Enter, click, click. Is this game broken? Oh. Okay, so people crashed a car and there's ellipses. Oh, shit. I clicked and I didn't see what she said. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Okay, give me options, please. You ran over it anyways, it's dead! Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. This is doc Dr. Watts and then... Dr. Rosaline. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. I'm just trying to get through this... Like, I can't... Hmm, well, I was just saying I was saving a puppy. We'll just say I was saving a puppy? He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Okay, can I... <sighs> Items, notes, characters. I have the option to save. Alright, I'm gonna try to exit game. Because there are no system settings whatsoever. I don't understand why that's a thing. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, going to boot. Because the, the game for me takes up the whole thing. I'm not sure why it's not taking up the whole thing for you guys. Um, Let's see, properties, set launch options, okay, I would need like an actual input there, updates, local files, language, and betas, okay, so that's very useful. Steam, thank you very much. Um, I think Maybe I can try... Maybe I can try doing a screen capture and then just do like... That doesn't make any sense. I don't know... I don't understand. I don't understand. Because normally I go to game capture and it's right there. But for some reason it doesn't detect to the moon. I'm going to boot the game one more time and see if see if that helps. Why don't you give me options, game? Everything seems squishy too. Like this is very odd. This is so strange. Does anyone have any suggestions? I should have checked this beforehand. Game, auto detect. Guess what, I'm playing a game. Do you see it? <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see this beautiful, beautiful game that I have here? No, you don't. I don't, I don't get why it's not working. I'm starting to get frustrated. Um, let's see, what can I do? Because it, uh, I'm gonna go eat. You better have a game to show when I get back. Yeah, I hope so. Um, Maybe if I open it through the file instead of through Steam, I can... The game doesn't have any audio settings. It has no audio settings? Nope. Is it still loud? Because I turned it down to 13%. That's not what I... I'm just trying to get the game on the screen. Right now. 
because for me it takes up my whole monitor and then when I had it on the capture it was this big can you just no because it's not detecting the game that's the problem right now is that it's not detecting the game so I was like okay do screen capture but even screen that's what screen capture gave me was this tiny little baby window what if we do window capture will it show up in the window capture I don't know if it's screen? opening as a window. Well, window capture will usually, everything that's currently open on the bottom of your screen will count as a window. Okay. If you want to try that. I'll try that um, if I have it. Let's see. Well, it's not open right now. Um, yeah, I have screen, game, webcam, audio, text, Slideshow, Skype video, video playlist, web page URL, whiteboard. I don't see any window capture. So that's great. This is a great start to the day. Doesn't seem like this game is particularly good to stream. If yeah, if I can't get it to work in the next like three minutes, then I will just quick download a different game and play that instead. Like, because I, I honestly don't know what else to do. Because normally with XSplit it's super easy. It's like, oh, you're, there's a game open. Here, did you want to capture it? And I'm like, yes, I did. And then I just drag it. Capture didn't work for you? Or you just didn't no, that's what I said. That I when I did screen capture, it just gave me a tiny window in XSplit. Did it show up differently for you guys when the game was up? I saw the game. Like, right, but wasn't it in a tiny little window? It was briefly, but, but try it again. Okay. I try it again. I could have sworn that at least one of the times it was the full screen. Which okay. is why I didn't know that the, I was listening to like four things at the same time when I was, I'm sorry, I missed the beginning of that. Okay. So I'm going to do screen capture again. Yes, it's telling me that there might be problems, so I'm worried about dropped frames, but whatever for right now. Preparing to launch. Okay, hold on. Oop. Okay, and okay so that's in the corner. Right. And the size of that can't be manipulated in XSplit? No, because it's a screen capture. Yeah, but you. When you screen capture, you can also, in XSplit, change the size of the thing that you're capturing. I did! It's in the whole screen! See, this is the whole thing. It's the whole screen. But for some reason, the game only shows oh, up in okay. the I didn't know that because I couldn't see that monitor from over there. So... But... I don't... This is just what it looked like, and I was gonna Google it, but I was Googling me, the audio stuff specifically. But I, it, a I lot of people care. are like, "Wow, oh, if you're gonna be nitpicky about the game, maybe this isn't the game for you." Those like the only answers I saw That's online. Were just like, "Oh, cool." Because yeah, I don't care about the audio. I'll turn it down like to z you know three percent. My audio mixer and it's still doesn't not matter. Seen it as a game. No, it doesn't. See, add game capture. It just goes auto detect, which is not. Helpful. What are the other exploit options for adding this thing? I'm sorry, I know you just read them out. Eh? Try webcam capture. No. No. None of this is helpful. Okay. Well, so. That's annoying. Right, so it didn't actually go full screen then. No, it, I guess not. I, for some reason, my brain processed it weird. Okay. Because I thought you were trying to do the audio stuff, so I probably wasn't focused on the video stuff. I'm sorry, and I'm not helpful. Okay. To the moon. Uh, Why the fuck is it so small?
I know Sean streamed it, so I didn't imagine that it would be... Look, I don't... If it were... If it only showed up on my screen in a tiny window, that would be fine. I would just capture that little tiny window. Um, okay. Go. Pull the game up. Okay. And hit all to enter. And that'll put it in window mode, because that's the windows. Sure. Um, thing for it. Okay. There we go. Th I think we were just looking at the exact same thing. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, so now I can do screen capture and just say the stuff that's in here and not give a shit that it's tiny for me. Well, and even better, I can you might I can be move able to track it, make it bigger, but um, doesn't well, no, allow this is like, a targeted capture, like where you can highlight an area and only show that. Right, that's what I'm doing. That's literally what I'm doing right now. I'm not mad, but you're not, you're not listening. I explained what the problem was, and I said, okay, now I can capture just this thing. Anyway, it works. Guys, this is going to be the last stream. I'm killing her in her sleep. <sighs> I love him. He's so the best forever. Anyway, I've now moved chat over so I can actually... All right. Let's load the game. Now, now I want to know about the volume. Now I give a fuck about volume. How's that? Is that good? Yes, you helped me with that thing. And I said, oh, okay, great. This is what I wanted. Now I can just capture this. And you're like, but doesn't XSplit have a thing where you can just capture that? And I'm like, <laughs> All right, here we go. Whee! I'm sorry about the empty space happening. This is so fucking tiny, though. This is so teeny tiny, like I don't... <laughs> Hello? Oh. There are... Wait, why is there another me? Okay, this is weird. Well, that only took 25 minutes. Retrieved equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll! Right click to toggle menu. Okay, super helpful. Patient offline. Alright. So now do we walk down the road? T tisk tisk. Aw, oh, come on! I crashed the car while trying to evade it! What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. Okay, so we're wandering. I guess we can't go that way. Alright. Oh, I see. We can go up this way or up the other way. The sign to the house points the other way. Oh. Kind of... How kind of it to exist. Wild's household ahead. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. Well, make up your mind, bro. Rosalini. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. I just wanted to see if you'd remember. Wait, what? How thoughtful of you. What do you mean, don't forget the car? And why was I still standing there? That's weird to me. I don't get it. This game is strange. Oh, there's stairs right there. <laughs> here, push this boulder, please. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. What a strange lady. Let's try pushing it out of the way. You think? Maybe we could find a tree with a branch to jack it with... Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Push it by hand, find a branch, abortment, just push it by hand. Okay, on three. One, two, three! Okay. Bye, Felicia Boulder. <laughs> I, 
I don't even. What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. Well, we'll, we'll figure that thing out later. Right. Okay. So, we pushed a boulder and it hopped out of the way so kindly. Alright. Ma, they're here. You'd think they'd be waiting by the door. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? Because I'm pretty sure there's a patient in there and that's why we're here. I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be an all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. <laughs> And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Don't forget the equipment, moron. This is not who I would want to be my doctor, this guy. I don't get paid enough for this. So I'm gonna moonwalk into the house with the stuff. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. So what the fuck kind of doctors are we? Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Retrieve your equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Go upstairs. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair. You pushed me. Did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyway. That's such a cute way to start. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteor meteoroid? Why would you choose that? Why would you choose meteoroid as a heavy heavy object? Like what is why is that your go-to heavy object? Oh yeah, and I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a whole f fossil of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's like Nobody has that 
like concept in their brain as a heavy item. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, and abruptly the music stops. All right. Ready to set up? Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this, carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. That's kind of funny. Well, if you're giving me the option to look around... There's a bathroom. What's this? Oh, just a light. It was a shimmery thing, so I thought I could pick it up. Let's turn on all the lights in the place. Okay, so we've got bathroom and lights that we can click on. We can't click on this light, though. We can... ooh, examine. A selection of readings from medical journals. That's not the most exciting, then, is it? Let's go over here. And... Look at the painting! A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Alright, fair enough. Now let's set up. Ready to set up? Yes. It'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes! I can barely see what the fuck is happening. <laughs> How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's just got a day or two left, that's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we're, we always succeed because we're awesome. So what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy, for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. What? Alright, which one of us plays detective? I like Dr. Rosaline better. Dr. Watts is a little doofy. Oh, it's just WhatsApp. I don't need to look at that. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print in this chair. <laughs> right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. I wonder if most people pick... Oh, wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you, alright? Here, take this. Retrieved remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. No, you weren't. Don't lie. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. 
Ah, I see. Dr. Eva Rosaline, Senior Memory Transversal tra or Traversal Agent, Sigmund Corp. Sorry, this thing's like literally only this big. <laughs> so it's a little bit hard to read. I hope you guys can read it okay. All right. All right, so we went in the bathroom, we looked at the paintings. Let's see, nothing over here. Oh, there's a clock. All right, that just tells me the time. What you want? <laughs> just keep playing, then quit bothering. I kind of just want the music while I look around. It's so magical. Alright, so this is kitchen. Oh, why is there a candy cane up there? Seems like an odd thing to have just sitting on the top of a dresser. Ooh, the music has evolved. I'd better ask those kids first. Go inside anyways? No. We're gonna be nice. Unless they say that they're not gonna show me, then I'll go myself. Here's another bathroom. I'm not sure why it's giving me the hand over the sink. Turn on and store tap water? Sure. I, I guess. It's a weird thing to do. Talk to them, please. Thank you. What you want? Uh, show me around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars! Or the candy cane mom hid hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of the high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Whatever. My mother used to keep candies on a high sh on high shelves too. All right, I'll get it. The kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Chillins, time of chillins being so. There's that candy cane. Ha ha. Received candy cane. Okay, so this is kind of adventure game-esque. Terrible calories. However, the solutions are intuitive. And I appreciate that. It's not like, to climb up there, I need to go to a different room and get like, like go back down outside, get the boulder, convince the boulder to come inside and sit by the cabinet because it's warm and he can toast off his moss or something like no just move the thing that's in the kitchen so you can stand on it okay I got what you wanted good old candy cane if you come and give me a tour at this instant I won't sneeze on it <sighs> uh 
Okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Alright. So, where's the study? This is the book room! The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. So thick. <laughs> the book is so thick. Emperor's New Clothes by Han Christian Andersen. Read passage. And the colors, the colors of that beautiful fabric. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the colors. A child, however, who had no important role and could see and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, said the, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which had has been overheard by the bystanders, re was repeated over and over. Cute. Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Alright. Uh, maybe another year. <laughs> Received room key. He chose its hiding spot well. Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. The key to avoiding paper cuts. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the great Wikipedia origami uh, or origamia as the standard repository for all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding for though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal apocryphal i've never seen that word in my life or at least wildly inaccurate it scores over the older more pedestrian work in two important respects first it's made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts from <laughs> resulting from reading of this book. Read more? Uh, no. No thanks. Actually, yeah, let's... I can't... I can't... Especially when it's so... Such like a small place. I have to. I have to read everything. Sorry. For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. They're right, that is wildly inaccurate. Dusk light. Are there any more? We just read that, okay. Okay, so it looks like he paints. Either Johnny used to paint or the mom paints. Why is there a hand over the child? Oh, that's the lamp. Just a bunch of books in here. They have nothing I don't know about, though. Mm, doubtful child. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day, I threw him back, and he needed a band-aid. Hee-hee! <laughs> These are some little monsters. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Okay. This is the basement. We play hide-and-seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Reading books. Dusty pile of Animorphs books! I was just talking about Animorphs the other day. Those books are awesome. Alright. It, 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 it pile meaning an entire bookcase of Animorphs. Alright, there's a box. The chest is locked. Okay. Small children. What's this? Why are there balls hanging from here. 
I know it's not really balls, I'm being silly. So there's two chests that I can unlock. Boxes filled with colored papers. So he does origami. The cabinet is filled with dusty books. Alright, so there's two chests we can open. And we've already managed to learn that this dude is an artist. Once we were down here and the lights were out, and Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. <laughs> we used to find all kinds of cool junks here. Junks. Plural. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. Yeah, sounds real neat, kid. <laughs> the door is locked. Opens door with room key. Okay, go. Be there. It's like a cave in here. What? A broken music box. A stuffed toy platypus. Platypus? Platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. I don't want to take it. A rabbit folded out of paper. Are they all rabbits folded out of paper, though? It's just a room full of a shit ton of origami rabbits. And a broken music box. I'm, I'm not going to take it yet. I can always come back and take it. I should bring that platypus- okay, so the game needs me to take it. But me personally, if I'm poking around in someone else's belongings, I'm not gonna start taking their things. This is so weird. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing! The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. Chillin's plus. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You weren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hee <laughs> hee! Remind me to, to never take you to Neil's house. So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Decision? What? No, that's not- I, I right-clicked. Oh, fucking nutsack. Are you kidding? I wanted to check on Johnny to make sure that he was okay. Tommy doesn't like turtles. Well, Tommy can go fuck himself. Sarah, a prizing professional ice cream taster, aiming for the top. Alright, that's fucked up. And now I literally can't do anything else. That pisses me off. Like, you give me two mechanics, left click and right click, and I should be able to right click to get to the menu at any time. That's frustrating. But, I guess either restart the game or, like, do nothing else. I wanted to go to the lighthouse. I mean, if I'm already taking his stuff and moving it around, I might as well go the full... Oh, why don't you be late? by another half an hour. Not like we got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. <laughs> competent penis. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, the very, very beginning of uh, Day 9's 
show, not last night, but the night before. Ooh. So Tuesday night, or no, it was Monday. It was mostly walking. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. Okay, initiate. All right, here we go. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. Any at any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. At any time, really? Or is it going to be like before, where if I move the mouse to the top of the screen... And I can't do the shit I want to do. Okay, so we can't go in here. Oh! And there are no paintings. That's cool. It uses the natural light instead of the lights, the light lights. For River. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. She's clearly never heard Metamorphosis by, I believe... I know the last name is Glass. I want to say John Glass? Okay, so we can't go in any of these places. We haven't been up here in the real world, so... Might as well come up here otherwise. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Welcome back, Tempcore. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to relo reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know. The fuck is this game, though? So, we are scientific doctors, and we work for this program to grant dying people one last wish. It's kind of like the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but for Dying people in general, not just children. Um, and this guy, Johnny, wants to go to the moon. And this is our the first uh, memory of his that we've accessed. We went down into the basement, and we found a room with a broken music box and a crap ton of origami rabbits, like all over the floor, and a stuffed platypus which we took. 
I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its co cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want the fame, the money? You've already got to have- you've got to have a motive. I was wondering why it looks like- this is on Game Boy Color. Yeah, because we're in a memory right now. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. Which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more than say you'll ha you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. Sorry, but the first Witcher was about the lowest graphics I can deal with. <laughs> Alright, man. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first! Received note. Moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Prepare. This stuff I put behind me when I was 10 and I first loaded up GTA 3. I remember GTA 3. I watched my stepdad play it. Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip the pieces. Ah. Okay. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Hi, waifu! How are you, my love? Alright, so I have a note about the moon. Objective. The moon in Johnny's memory is full. Oh. Huh. And he's doing okay at the top there, okay. Activate memento? Sure. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Okay, so we've moved a slight bit back, but not much. I'm doing well, how are you? Also, this game is all the feels- I know! I'm just, like, waiting to cry.
Hi, bye. Are you leaving Temp Court? Uh, turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah, happy. Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? They're everywhere. Ciao, lady. Do have funsies. I will. Have a good day, Tempcore. This is creeping me out. We sh probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just part of this memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. Interact with objects to establish memory links? Okay. A multicolored paper rabbit. Well, aren't you special, having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach? What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree! Hi, Trumpet! How are you? Impossible! I know, right, Trumps? Yeah, the music is really good so far. I It took me a while to set up the game because XSplit didn't recognize it. Um... And then I had to get it to run in a teeny bitty window. But once I got past the set the setup frustration, it was all good. The clock is moving but soundless. Received note. Clock. Ooh. There are some great jokes. Yeah, I, I'm liking the characters in this even when I hate them. Like, Dr. Watts, like, I don't hate him, hate him, but I'm like, you're so insensitive, like, please. Clock. Um, the clocks in Johnny's house never tick. Hyped for 100. I know, I'm really excited. I'm gonna change. I'm not, I'm not wearing this. I also haven't showered yet today, because I was gonna wash my hair, and I didn't want to wear headphones on my hair, and then have to fix it later. Wait, what the what? There's an umbrella and... I, I don't understand. Requires memory links to shoot? Uh, okay, I don't understand, but alright. There's the platypus sitting there. I guess we go upstairs. <laughs> Watts plus. Oh, how'd you get up here? Oh my gosh, we clicked him and he's moving. A glass bottle of pickled olives. Pugh, I hate this stuff. What's to hate? It's pickled olive! Exactly. Is that a kitty? What is that? No, an old and patched up backpack. I just want everything to be kitties. Did you see the Twitter message? I got two packages unexpectedly that I've been told I have to open on stream. Going to open it when I unmute any everyone. Okay, cool. No, I didn't see that. You must have sent it, um, like, right after I went live or something. An old and patched up backpack. What's this? A million years old? I guess we'll find out. book? The Emperor's New Clothes, which we read downstairs. And flowers. Fresh wildflowers. It's so neat how, like, bits of the house are blocked off because they're not part of the memory. That's really neat. Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him at every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. You can now travel with the memento umbre umbrella. Oh, okay. Kitty equals backpack. 
also when we we think it's anthrax sex toys and can't wait to see them on stream for science yes clearly somebody who knows trumpet very well decided to send him sex toys full of anthrax okay ha hadouken <laughs> and dr rosalyn is like what the shit was that what that's it i'm doing the breaking from now on Mento, prepare. Ooh, corner orb can flip the entire diagonal. Okay. Neat. They say reminder like that was a thing I was aware of. Oops. I'm fucking it up. Kind of- oh, I'm kind of fucking it up, but also kind of not really fucking it up. Let's see what happens if I click this. Not what I wanted. That's what. <laughs> Aha! That is what I wanted, actually. Bidding, bidding, I did it. Yes, how they decided to work the VR slash rendered environment is super great. We can now travel with the umbrella. Okay, well, let's do it then. Activate memento. Yes. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Okay, we're almost in not super old Johnny's memory. When it comes to rain, through is better than onto. I don't mind it regardless. It seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento, or it's going to take forever. Meh, I just enjoy the scenery. Oh, it's this game, Bible Thumb. <laughs> hey, Care Bay. <laughs> How are you doing? An old stuffed toy platypus. 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 I keep saying platypus. <laughs> uh, Dr. Watts. Honestly, I just don't think this animal, ha animal has the right to exist. The world's not big enough for two of you. In memory of River E. Wiles. Sad. He's just sitting with the platypus by his wife's grave. Oh. It's finished, River. I'm already getting emotional. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stayed true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. But when I'm gone, Who is going to watch over us? Who are you? My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? <laughs> she... She didn't need to do it. 
but she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. I'm already crying! Oh, I'm not even an hour into the game and I'm already crying! Oh. <laughs> no! Why? Oh, Jesus. Lecta, is your plan to cry playing this so you don't cry tonight? <laughs> this is what the people chose. They could have picked a little platforming game for me, but they picked this. They wanted to see tears. Received note, Anya. Someone John and River cared for. Yeah, I asked on Twitter what I should play. I gave three options because I wanted something I could finish today. And overwhelmingly this one was picked. No one voted for a story about my uncle. It was 82% this and 19% or not that no that doesn't make sense. 18% um Pyro, which is the platforming game. What is that Care Bay? Does it have spoilers? Dr. Watts, about time you got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery, what else? Any luck here? Big luck, huge, dinosauric. Huh, this place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse, what did you, what do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking that- the barrier for yourself. No, it's fly to the Concord. It's, I'm not crying. <laughs> okay. I will definitely l listen to that later. Alright, so Platypus is up here. Did I say puss this time? So what do we know so far, Lecta? Um, he has a basement full of origami rabbits and a broken music box. Um, I gleaned that he's an artist because of the... Uh, or, or his wife. It could have been his wife was the artist with the paintings. Um, because there's an easel and paints, I think, also in the basement. Um, and then we found the book on origami. Um and a box full of colored paper. I guess, I'm guessing it's his wife, considering that... Okay, so I can't go down. Considering that, um... An old stuffed toy platypus. Which we found already. I must have missed something in here. And what else do we know? That's about it. I'm less than an hour in. Broken lighthouse lamp. Oh. Why did he look away from me like that? That's sad. What is it? Oh, it's the platypus. Repair. Okay. <sighs> Ideal shows the minimum number of moves the memento can be completed in. Ooh. In three moves, huh? I think I already fucked it up. Can you undo?
Yeah, there's no way I'm getting these things in three moves. No! <laughs> This is not the kind of thing that my brain does well. Oh god, I totally screwed it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Work lurker. Hey, Valtry. Activate the memento. I already cried once. You missed my tears. My sweet, sweet tears. Just enough. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it, so don't worry. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know what it's like. Why do you try and convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... This is just too much. I mean, she... She isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatment get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you won't grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. Johnny? Yes? I made this. Tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano up here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. <laughs> it's called For River. <laughs> Why so cliche? It's just a placeholder. count we should have a crying count and I don't mean just when I get sniffly I mean like when tears drop out of my face who is this Anya they keep talking about if she's so important shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories I guess he didn't keep that promise after all 
Unless... Unless what? <sighs> Never mind. Oh. <sighs> he moved the piano! He moved the piano all the way upstairs just to play for her! <sighs> Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? Now that I have a girlfriend, this is hitting me harder than the first time I watched Sean play it. Oh! I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I've already got my memory links. You wanna hitch a ride or you wanna look around yourself? Stay and explore. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. <sighs> Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. My heart. The Emperor's new clothes again. Received note, paper rabbit. What river gave to John? Pot of mixed dough. <laughs> A glass bottle of pickled olives. Someone really likes these. I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. Go! Fresh wild flowers. Hold it together, Lecta! What's the ocular emissions count at? Two. It's at two. And I'm just now getting to an hour in because it took me that long to set up and shit. <gasps> oh, okay. Let's activate the wildflowers. Aren't those peonies? So we're at middle-aged, John. Make sure to drink water. <laughs> That's true. Okay, I'll put an actual counter then. Add text. Wow! Do you have Georgia? 
No, they don't have. Oh, they do have Georgia. Awesome. We've been counter. Kautner. Damn it, I almost did it again. Two, not 21, 2. Um, and I want to do left aligned. And how do I make it smaller? I see outline, opacity, style, align, animation. Maybe I can just. Do this. Weeping. Excuse me. Sorry, this is very counterintuitive the way that they're doing this text. All right, you know what? That works. Ta da! <laughs> there you go. Oh no, I've already cried twice. Like, I, I expected to cry. Should have played this in Zero Gravity where you cannot cry. Oh, you can still cry. It just is not a downward cry. <sighs> Look what we have here. Weep, 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 damn you. You guys are great. Thanks. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. Huge on the screen. Oh, I see. Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm, I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? Yeah, they could eat. 
here. It wasn't that I was chewing pizzas, that I was talking while I was chewing. I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. Well, at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. <laughs> he said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. You could hear me chewing? accidentally clicked on a truck. This is such a peaceful little place. It's fine. No one's ever had a problem with my microphone. Except Fred. get you complaining, Fred, or I get Trumpet complaining, because I tried- I used to use this microphone right here, and everyone complained because they could hear what was coming through my headphones in the microphone. So they had me switch it to my webcam, which then picks up everything. So I'm getting one of the two of you complaining no matter what. I'm sorry I spent all my money moving here to be close to you. I told you to pick me a fucking microphone and I just buy it. But you haven't done that, so there. Alright, let's prepare. was easy. Chris O. Oh, hello, random person from the internet here. I'd like to- I'd like you to switch to the other mic again. <laughs> I don't even know how. It took a very long time. But you spend all your money going to places and enjoy some weddings. Yeah, I do have two weddings this year. Two weeks apart, both in Wisconsin. What's up with that? <laughs> anyway, welcome. Welcome, Chris O. Oh, I'm sorry about the microphone, but I can't do anything. And thank you, Trumpet. If you think that's adorable, you should check out the highlight from yesterday. Okay, I'm done now. No, pickled olives. Activate.
This music is so magical. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that's special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two! I love weddings, Carabay! I've never had a bad time at a wedding. Hey, cheers. Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river is still so quiet, huh? Uh, she's actually been talkative at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Haha, <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how'd she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Huh, I used to fold on origami animals. Blah, 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 blah. I used to fold origami an animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in, day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say something like that as a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes, almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. Weird. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with the rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Oh, I'm him. Okay, I got confused. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey yo, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Check. Er, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hello! Could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here are your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. 
You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Oh, loosen up. Hurry up already. I don't want to be stuck here. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am! Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, 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 ah. Another pickled olives. And both are gross. Pickling and oliving are gross. You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could ugh, find such things to be disgusting. <laughs> well, he turned to Karine there for a second. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Take your time, we got two bottles left. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. Elliot G85, hello, hi, how are you doing? And you know what else is wrong with society today? Yeah, I actually have it right here, why? May, may I see it? Eh, uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze! Finally, dear lord! How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. You don't eat olives? What do you put on your pizza? Oh, right, pineapple. Only on occasion. I put cheese on my pizza. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it! Olives are awful. I agree, Carabae. I'll eat them if they're like really small and like in something. Like, like cream of mushroom soup. I also don't really care for mushrooms, but again, they're small pieces. All right. Um. Hmm. I can do one, two, three, but that does that. Oh. Okay, I did it perfectly. I just <laughs> thought I wasn't. Uh, okay, then. Oh, and I didn't look at the notes from last time. Pickled olives, Johnny's favorite. Um, okay. That was just what I got. Seriously, though, it's not a pizza if there's no cheese. I know, but I just like plain pizza. I think that tastes the best. Activate memento? Yes. All right. We're at like, I'm saying like 30 year old Johnny. Crikey, nutcrackers. 
You weren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground, standing on a damn flagpole! Just jump down, it's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive! You can't stay on here, you can't get off- God, I hate it when this happens. I swear, if this place- Eva, what the fuck?! Wuss. Oh, did I push him? I was too busy with the text. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure we'll be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, would always be nearby. And, and we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. I'm getting a little emotional. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than the moments leading up to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Can confirm the more time you spend talking with someone, the more you find yourself using their slang slash idioms. Yes. The greatest thing is how you pick up on them faster, the more they annoy you. <laughs> so the kappa within you tries to add them to your own speech patterns too. That's one theory. I tend to pick up things that I like or think are funny. Like how... Um... Aura says, like the way she says, Ba Felicia! That's not how it goes in the movie, like I watched the clip, and that's not at all how it sounds, but I picked it up from her, so I can't not say, Ba Felicia! <laughs> I think it's funny. Because I love her. I've played and watched this game so often, right now I'm just listening and you're doing a great job at reading out loud. Still gives me goosebumps. Oh, thank you! I try really hard. <laughs> thank you very much. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Note, Anya. The abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. I just sort of naturally absorb and half the time don't realize I'm saying it. I've never heard her say that. Then again, I've only heard her speak maybe seven words. Really? Was one of those words poop? Because that would totally be aura. Nah, I was all about poop before mine twin. <laughs> all about that poop. <laughs> Duty's just funny. What's up with those people? I don't even know what I clicked on. I just... I'm walking and gathering things. Wow, he made it look so much better. Or maybe this is just autumn, and that's why it looks like this. Poop. Oh, there's a bun bun.
Okay. Probably missing something. I'm guessing we missed something up here. Oh, no, no, we have everything. Derp, derp. I thought we needed to collect more things. My mistake. Here we go. Prepare. This one's probably going to take me a less than ideal number of turns. Oh. Never mind. I like these little puzzles because they make me feel super smart even when I'm just like... Like my brain doesn't think that many turns ahead. But they're I guess they're super easy. <laughs> River? Okay then. Listen to those birds! Oh my gosh, that's so magical. The boats. That's so pleasant, and it's so subtle, like I thought it was maybe outside. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I'd bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get it through its door. Mmm, true. Well that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get inside it. Or to get it inside. I may have switched those. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. Oh, you guys are so silly. You went out for a haircut in the early morning? Or this early in the morning? I'm good at reading. Oh yeah, I'm the best at reading. What do you make in there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd, even for that. You think she's... do you? Perhaps? Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Many long strands of orange hair. Okay, she kept her hair. The rest of it was blue! <laughs> Bible thumb.
So this is the day she started it, huh? Oh, it sounds so ominous. It's like ominous and sad and... Oh, the music is so good. A yellow paper rabbit. Dear Lord, not again. This one's just yellow, Trumpet. There's no blue on the bun bun. This is, this game is fascinating. I'm like, I'm looking at everything and taking everything in, but I'm also like, not rushing, but like when you read a book and you're just like, ignore food, ignore life, just, I need to know what happens. And you just like keep doing it or like watching a show, like binge watching a show. Oh shit, I clicked the wrong one. God damn it. Poopies. That's the one I meant to click, so I could have done it in the ideal number. But I didn't. I wish there was a reset. I thought that was the, the corner one. Damn it. I actually had the solution perfectly and I just clicked the wrong button. Oh well. I hope it doesn't tell you at the end, like, you solved it in this many turns, and you could have done it this way. <laughs> you are not ideal, Lecta. Ah. Okay, so we're on the road where we went off the road. There's a platypus in a car. And for some reason we can't... We can't get it, okay. I've noticed no boulder. Maybe it's Richard Glass. Sorry, I just was thinking about metamorphosis again. I totally like zoned out in my own head. Because <laughs> I was thinking about the music and how good it is. And how they were like insulting his music by saying it's just the same two notes over and over again. And how metamorphosis is the same thing repeated and but it's so good. So good. And they used it in Battlestar Galactica. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Note, acrophobia. Four more hours to walk is over. <laughs> That's great, Trumpet. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. That's a hilarious note. Ooh, we can go over here. We can go up, we can go back over. Let's go up first. Oh, look. 
We're sitting by the lighthouse. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know, you want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair! Four... five hours here, four hours until I have to go to sleep to wake up for work on a Friday? Ew, That's pretty gross. Five or six maybe, but definitely before 3 a.m. this time. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. I was trying to look over here. This is such a beautiful little place. I guess there's not really a place to go over here, is there? Oh boy, I wish Seeker could see me now. I only saved one time, and it was just so that I didn't have to look through the, the dialogue as I was restarting the game. <laughs> I haven't even saved once, motherfucker. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Let's maybe go back t this way and down. Come up here. This is beautiful, but I don't know where the memento is. Oh, maybe it's the car or the platypus or something. Platypus. Platypus. Why did they have to make the game with a platypus? <laughs> platypus. It's really hard to say that word. Mostly because I'm saying it like over and over again. It's making me a little self-conscious. Okay, so that's not the memento. Okay, so not the road either, then. Okay, back up to the top. Man, this music really paints the mood of this game. Yeah. I love it when you can tell the mood of something just by listening to the music. 
They did a really good job. Is the tree the memento? No. It just looked like it kind of had a, a bubble on the bottom. I suppose I'll go back up to where it is, to where they are. Because that seems like the logical way to go. This music is so chill though. Like it's making me talk really softly. Like really nice and calm. Alright. Come on then. I don't see anything. Okay. Oh! I- that was so close to the color of the other- of the grass. I just completely accidentally clicked on it. That's okay, we found it. There's the backpack. Let's prepare. Let me just look out the window for a second. My eyes are like... <laughs> okay. I could do it in four. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. Activate. I love that I get to do a 15 minute pre-show of music tonight. Hopefully it'll paint the mood for people. <laughs> I mean, you could do that every night if you really wanted to. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do day in, day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore, and then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh. A 
I've never, never met a woman with it before. Then technically you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. All right, now I can read. Yes, but people want to go to bed by the end of the second game. I mean, you can start like 15 minutes earlier to play music. Are these audio glitches at my end, or did others get them too? Got it too? Phew. Mm, I think Twitch did a thing. Yeah, I thought, crap, might be time for new headphones. I'm sorry, is it still, still happening? Oh no, it was a weeping counter, yeah. Welcome back, by the way, waifu. I know she's saying it's none of our business, but I certainly want to know. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. It's an odd thing to say. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. Me too. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it from, a, from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah. That was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. If they're in the game, Lecta would hear them. Yeah, I'm not sure. Fred reported for AFK. He might or might not hear that later. How you doing, Marius? Welcome back. It's good to see you. Twice in a row. Your reaction to the weeping counter? All right, let's click on this. <laughs> it's enough to make this grown man cry. But not this man. Get back in there, Tear. <laughs> that was funny. I saw- I watched that movie with my roommate. I think I'm going to get this one. Oh, that's weird. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my Auntie Valentine. Hey, Riff River, this one's not that corny. River? I've seen a few playthroughs and remember that click glitch from other ones, which is why I assume it's the game. Maybe it was because I was reading that I didn't, uh, didn't pick up on it. But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Ooh, ooh. Do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um... I don't remember. I don't remember at all. I'm gonna go with rabbit. He doesn't like that. Why won't it let me put that in? That's weird. And I can't go back. So I guess we're going with Rabbi. Because <laughs> it literally won't let me put anything else in. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. Do you know what animal is David's main morph? 
All right, so we'll, I'll try I'll try horse, Marius. It's also possible that it didn't like that I was using all caps. <laughs> a rabbi. <laughs> David turns into a rabbi. Oy vey! <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try rabbit again, but with not all capitals. See what happens. R, A, B, B. Oh, there's only five letters. Shit. Rattlesnake. Uh, we're gonna make him a rabbi again just to be wrong. Okay. We're gonna get this, because I need to know. Snake? We'll try snake. S N A K E. That doesn't sound right. Um, rats. A mouse? It could be a mouse. That doesn't sound right. Okay. Puppy. I don't think it's puppy or kitty. I put in snake. There was no snake. Um, tiger? I'm not sure you have to use all five letters. Oh, crap. Um... I'll try dog. I, I need to figure this out, and I feel ashamed that I don't know. Eagle! Eagle! I'll try eagle. Eagle! Nope. The only one I remember, I remember like a lizard on the front of one, but that was a girl. I think. I remember someone turned into a wolf, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. Ugh! I need to know. I have a suspicion you might not have to brute force this. Shark. Care very plus. Pretty sure the info is somewhere in the library. Okay, fine. But I'm trying to like make my brain come up with it, but I honestly don't don't remember. I don't remember if it was David, but I distinctly remember somebody being a lion. Lion? I tried tiger. I'll try lion. I really don't remember. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll look in the library. I wanted my brain to remember the things, though. Okay. So there's nothing here. That's who we were just talking to. Maybe if I click on him. Well, this is a different thing. Ape. Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger. Hey, I was right about a tiger. Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, okay. Cassie Wolf, and someone was a wolf! Yay, good brain, good job, brain. So I remembered two of them, and we weren't that far off. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. No, we couldn't have. Brain let you down. No, my brain actually did pretty well, considering that I haven't read those books in so long. I didn't even remember the names of the characters, to be honest. Oh yeah, a cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. I agree. I totally agree. I went, um... For Christmas, my ex and I, this was my idea, were buying... Uh, trying to buy the first Animorph book for his uh, little cousin because she asked for a whole bunch of books and they were all animal related and I was like 
she would probably love Animorphs. So we tried to get her like the original one. And it was kind of difficult to find because they changed the covers and they weren't as good anymore. <laughs> I also don't like change. Fucking specificity. Yeah. Snake instead of cobra. Okay. Perhaps I should reread them after all. I can barely recall a thing from that series. That is actually something I want to do. I do want to reread all the Animorphs. I used to have a ton of them. I don't know where they went. But yes, John, I agree. I agree that I slash you should reread them. I had... Aha! There we go. And there's the backpack. Wait, those were actual books? Yes! They were awesome! I thought it was something they made up for the game. No, everything that's referenced in this game so far has been a real thing. Never heard of them? What? Oh my gosh, we should do a day-night, uh, like, read-along and reread all the Animorphs together. That would be fucking awesome. And there are all these rules about transforming, like, you couldn't stay in form too long or you get stuck. Yes! Oh my gosh, so exciting. I think when I was in my, um, closing frames... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everything's on top of the... Thing. Shit. Fuck. I missed who that was! I'm sorry! Hold on. Um... I'm so sorry, because I had my stuff over the other thing. Because I had troubles today. Let's see if I can log into Twitch Alerts and see, even though I don't use Twitch Alerts. Or you know what? Email. I'm gonna thank you for your fucking follow. I live this life with you. Thank you so much for the follow. I really do appreciate, and I am glad that you were enjoying yourself. Welcome. Yosh, I did it. <laughs> um, I completely forgot what I was talking about, other than Animorphs and being really excited to reread them. Um... Backpack, more like Kitty, am I right? It was Ninja, I should have known. Oh, so your childhood, not mine. Yeah, probably. They were really good. They were really good. Um, oh yeah, right, when I was in my Quills and Quims uh, branch of the Vaginal Fantasy Book Club, that's in New York, um, I... Boo! There's one here! There's a diagonal there, too. Or no, is that that? I think that's a diagonal. With pleasure, milady. Oh, thank you! Um... Rigel, one of the guys in the book club, was talking about how he said he thinks that they're available online. It's like a huge text document. Or at least this was last time I spoke with them. Oh, that did not at all do what I wanted. What the hell was that? I clicked the- oh, there is no black button. Okay. Alright, alright. Um... This one's gonna take me a little longer because I think I screwed it up. Okay, so had I not clicked on the black button that isn't actually a thing, I would have still gotten it. Meow meow meow. Only one diagonal. Okay, I know now. See ya. Left the party. Okay, bye there is. No, Animorphs. The best. But yeah, I think they're, they're like all available. And he also said that they get really dark and they deal with like very adult subject matter, even though they're children's books. So I thought that was pretty cool. Aw, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. 
seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. Let's check out that note. Oh, we just got Animorphs, Johnny's favorite childhood books. There's a lot of people here, but not many people we can interact with. An aged Animorphs book. A glass of pickled olives. I see Le Fromage, but where is the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Boom, boom, tsh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's like a Fred joke for sure. Okay. So there's no one at this party. Up we go. It's still so beautiful. I'm keeping my eyes out. <laughs> Trump, you liked that joke? Oh god, you would like that joke. I find that Watts grows on you throughout the game. Yeah, I don't hate him as much but partially because I decided to do his voice like um, Topher from the dollhouse. Because he reminded, like, the dialogue reminded me of stuff that Topher would say. And, like, I don't know. It's, it's reminding me of the dollhouse, this whole, like, game. Just a little bit. Not a ton. But just, like, little bits here and there reminding me of it. Or at least that's how it was for me, because I'm a sucker for puns. I'm not big on the puns, but his jokes, his like dark jokes are kind of funny to me. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why do you? Why? Waifu! Waifu, no, bad! Naughty waifu. Bad, bad. <laughs> Why, do you? I will not repeat what you said, lady. Sorry, these TV references are lost on me. It's a really, it's a really good series. Fred just saw it for the first time. Um, so I urged him to see it and I rewatched it with him. It's really, really good. It's Joss Whedon. Actually, yeah, I think so. Spoilers, dude! You don't do that shit! Actually, yeah, I think so. You totally did spoil! You totally did, my dear. What is it like? Anyway, I'm interrupting this conversation. I keep forgetting what they said. It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Ah, I see. See, some people use asterisks as, like, emphasis.
Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Anyway, for anyone who hasn't seen the dollhouse, don't read chat in this section, okay? Just don't do it. John, hey, come with me. See, now I feel bad because I accidentally spoiled something that wasn't spoiled. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh, are they dancing up there? That's adorable! That's so cute. Ow, my ass! I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. Lighthouse family? Isn't it so cute? It's so, so cute. See, I don't know if you've played this game before, but I, I haven't, but she has like some condition. Wait, I'm missing Lecta Tears? Yes! See the weeping counter? I cried twice in the first 40 minutes of the show. To promise to love and comfort to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. He keeps his toes on his ass, oh god. Ah, the wedding! Uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape my eyes. That's such a tober thing to say. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant, uh, my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh! Whatever happened to just take it moment by moment? That's pretty harsh. That's pretty harsh, lady. Wait a minute. There better not be something up in the, uh... Okay, no, we can't. We can't go there. Okay, come back down. I just wanted to make sure we couldn't go in the lighthouse and then I'd have to backtrack. Not that backtracking in this game is really a big deal, or... You know. It's pretty pleasant, this game. Even to backtrack. Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? That's a weird thing to say. Jo Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was gone. Ma calls me by it as a nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. 
Ugh, not a senti another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? Oh yeah, I should. No, I'm not cheesing up this game. Although I could do a British accent for Rosalind. Or, as I would say it then, Rosalind. I mean, you're sure to talk about your- you sure talk about- blah, blah, blah. no, I can't do it today. Can't do it today. You sure talk about your grandfather a lot. I can't do it today. That was terrible. That was so bad. I'm not doing it. You sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Received note, Joey. Johnny's nickname. Nicknamed after his grandfather. Let's go talk to her mama. I'm so proud of Joey. Is that all you said? Okay. It's too difficult for me to read something when I don't know the material and do the accent. I can do an alright British accent if you know, if I'm not if I'm not trying to read something, I guess. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? I think this is the source of all those- or no, think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. No, dead rabbit. Okay. A roadkill on Johnny and River's wedding day. Hey, Kronos! How are you, my dear? It's going well. I'm just playing a game that's making me cry. We talked about Animorphs. <laughs> How are you? Activate memento. Yeah, it would it would be funny, but this is the, my first time experiencing this game, so I really want to be in this mindset and headspace, and you know, I really want to like immerse myself in it, which I do with pretty much every game. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the memento is roadkill. Hey! Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later she began folding rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Ooh. Wait, how... Poor thing, what's with all the road kills today? So we only have three more jumps to make. Don't you look at me like that. It smells like a farm. And road kill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Okay, so nothing that way. 
I am suddenly very, very hungry. Ooh, that's startling. I know we can't get hurt by the truck, but that's still kind of startling. A blue... Whoa! Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Yeah! Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh crap! That can't be good. Ah! Do something! Don't just stand there, help me! Damn it, this was not in the job description. <laughs> Received note, Dr. Neil Watts. Village idiot. Day nine. Man, I gotta check this channel out again. Was he up to something cool lately? Uh, only always. We love him. We're pretty much everyone you see in here is a fan of, of day nine. He's fantastic. Um, he plays adventure games with two other dudes on Mondays. And he does Hearthstone Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then on Fridays those are his days off. Um, and he plays whatever the hell he wants. Lately it's been uh, Dark Souls 3. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this stuff anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! Ah! River! What's the matter? Let go! Hey, wait up! Huh. I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. <laughs> this is about 19% more than I can handle! What a moron. Oh, what the corn cob. Oh my gosh, horse minigame! Hold space to gallop. find the memento though. Don't tell me it's that dead flipping rabbit again. I liked most of the mostly, walk mostly walkings I've watched. Depends on the game though. Remember Nancy Drew? I actually liked Nancy Drew. I thought it was funny. I didn't mind the their mostly Sudoku episode. <laughs> Am I supposed to just follow river around, or...? Like, how do I get off the horse? Anyway. Chopting, chopping, chopping, chopping. Okay, is there nothing I can interact with? Okay. So I'm just still galloping around. I want to see if this rabbit was a thing. Nope. 
It's just a rabbit roadkill. The day-night cycle and train system is something that's not in every game. I didn't like that part as much. Oi, I'm bad at following. Oh god. And they're both going different directions. Am I supposed to catch what's his face? Watts? Shungushard did a playthrough of another Institute game. It had cool components, but no Sudoku. <laughs> You're missing out, man. That should be every Nancy Drew game. Am I maybe supposed to complete a circuit with this horse? Alright, we're gonna do our- Oh! There we go. Thanks! Ow! Okay. So where the poopies do we go now? Why can't I click on him? How do I get off the horse? Escape the horse. I like that the photo of me is the horse legs. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, can I, can I escape the horse? Get off the horse. Alright, why don't I save the game? I haven't saved since we started. Um, does anybody know how to get off this horse? Because clicking on this or that doesn't do anything. I'd like to know how to get off of this horse now. Do I need to get knocked off myself? Knock me off, son. River Plez. River Plez knocked me off the horse. And I'm stuck! Fucking shit. This part is buggy. I think you're still missing some memory links. I thought I got them all before I got on the horse. And I've run all throughout this, this silly business. Because yeah, I got on the horse and I got all of the crap. I got all of the links I thought, and then I was just looking for the, the memory. Like the thing that I needed to actually click on. I just want to get off the horse. I don't want to be on the horse anymore. Alright, here we go, fine. I'm pretty sure I've been... Almost every part now. Come on. I don't know. I think you have to follow them around. I did. I did do that. side of her, though. Alright, this galloping is not as hard- is not as easy, because I get caught on stupid crap.
Come on! She's also not following the trail, really. So, like, she is now. She was not before. Alright, I've done a whole circuit of following River around. Is the horse trolling us? Yes! I can't get off. I can't get off the horse. I think she has to run into me, I think. But that was my... If you have them all, go to Watson's stay in front of the bag and spam the interaction button. Okay, so it's just... it's just buggy then. Thank you for your help, Chris. And hey, Fess! How are you doing? Haven't seen you in a little bit. There we go. I needed to stand on it. That's dumb. Here, this memento will do. But I'm not getting on that horse again. You go get the rest of the memory links. What? I thought I had them. I just can't see them. Okay, that's weird. But yes, I had them all. Love buggy games. This is such for 16 hours yesterday. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, this act this game's not actually been that buggy. It's just this one part. did it. Been grinding out the division lately, but I think I'm done with that game. Yeah, I've seen on Twitter that some people aren't that pleased with um, the end game. They keep patching it, making it less fun to play. That sucks. Let's never speak of what just happened again. Okay. Activate the purse. And don't mind me, but I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna finish my breakfast. Or at least just have one bite. Sorry. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. I got out of bed at 11. And yeah, it's almost 3 o'clock. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive de developmental... Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. I wish this was a dog tour. So then when you could get your health... New company... What the... Oh, a doctor instead of a doctor. Then you could get your health news accompanied with a tail wag. How are you all doing? I'm doing well. Oh, I showed up at a good time. Hi, Knife Game. Welcome. This is my first time playing this. <sighs> well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in this relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. 
Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of, north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe, I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy. If there's anything else that makes you at all uncomfortable, let me know. Thank you. Huh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. Note, ticking clock. Something River can't stand. Okay. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Okay, so there's the memento. Note, Tony Atwood. Scroll down. There we go. The author of a series of books on River's condition. A plain, tawny handbag. Hmm. You must have missed something. Oh! There we are. A stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Okay. Prepare the memento. Hmm. Hmm. Ta-da! Activate Memento.